ladies and gentlemen so finally december is here and it's the last month of the year 2018 and 2019 is going to start so happy 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 new year 2019 to each and every one of you who have been watching my videos and subscribing to my channel and to all those also who have booked consultations from me and also to those people who are registered for the webinar on 12 horses which i have on january 6th yes 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 i have that time also in my mind yes so now it's finally the last month and i have given the tag as love is in the air well why in the universe did i say that love is in the air because there are some conjunctions which are happening in the sky during the month of december and it's happening twice okay and it's happening in beautiful places so that is why i have given this tag as love is in the air so there you go if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know what will happen in december and if you want to register for the webinar on 12 houses then you can also go to my website you will find the link to that also in the description and if you want a consultation then also you can go to my website and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there at the beginning of the new year and at the end of 2018 also so now what happens is the new year is starting with venus getting direct well now you may think oh venus went uh, direct november 15 so what's so great about venus getting direct now well although venus has been direct from november 15 but if you watch the degrees it's hardly moving so from december 1st it is going to get speed it's going to move fast fast means it is going to move in its original speed okay so venus uh, completes the one completes one zodiac sign in roughly about 25 days and venus has been in libra from september i guess first week of september and it's going to be there till january 1st or 2nd so it's almost a four long month long transit because it's retrograde so the point is that now venus will move and this is the last one month which is remaining so now we will actually feel the motion of venus in libra the motion of venus which is after the completion of the retrograde cycle which is like where the new beginnings happen so i have made many videos on the transits of venus and saturn and jupiter jupiter is in anuradha nakshatra and by the end i guess it's going to go into jeshtha nakshatra that video i'll be making soon and saturn has also ended his long halted journey in mula nakshatra from january 26 2017 and it has moved to purvashada so you can watch that video also and that video i think in less than 36 hours it became uh, a super hit i guess it went around 8000 9000 views i was like wow <laughs> so you can watch those videos and mars has also gone from that long 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 conjunction with ketu so finally now in december we can see the energy settling down finally so the most difficult transits that are finally over rather rather than calling it difficult i would say challenging transits which give us opportunity for growth they are the first one is uh, mars ketu conjunction from capricorn which they finally separated recently and now mars will be in aquarius and then eventually it will go to pisces but it's no longer with ketu although it, in aquarius it has been aspected by saturn from sagittarius all right so wherever aquarius is falling in your chart you might have a tendency to rush there whichever house aquarius is during the month of december especially but you may see that you are not seeing the results all right that's because saturn is aspecting that house wherever saturn aspects by transit or in your natal barcha there will be delays and disappointments and setbacks so be patient all right so suppose you are a capricorn lagna and you have aquarius in your second house then things related to finances can have some delays but you need to be patient 
but the tag of this video was love is in the air well why because venus has gone direct but it's direct in the mool trigon sign libra but that's not the only reason the main reason is in the month of december alone two times it is happening that moon and venus are getting conjunct together yes third fourth fifth moon and venus are conjunct the month of december is starting almost with a moon venus conjunction so moon venus conjunctions generally are days where we can feel the good things in life so when see uh, people say that oh this planet is retrograde or this planet has gone direct but i have not started feeling the energy from when will i start feeling it well when moon joins that planet so last time when moon and venus were together we were feeling the retrograde energy of venus but now moon and venus will be together and we will feel the direct motion of venus in libra so venus in libra is all about maintaining harmony in relationships about making our stance clear where we lie in the relationship and also making the stance clear about other people where they lie in our life okay and where do we lie in their lives so uh, venus in libra is a fantastic time for asking forgiveness from people to whom we have done wrong and also to forgiving people uh, who have done wrong with us in any way so now when on third fourth and fifth moon conjoins venus in libra there will be excessive focus in that sign and libra is original seventh house that deals with relationships love and romance so those things are likely to pick up and on 1st december rahu and venus and ketu are exactly in kendra to each other first second near about so uh, rahu uh, when it is in trines to venus because they are in the exact degree december 1st okay uh, so rahu ketu is in cancer and capricorn respectively and venus is in libra so these are movable signs so they are in kendra to each other 1 4 7 10 so first december can be a day when some karmic events uh, related to relationships can happen karmic in the sense that not good or bad but suppose uh, you are destined to meet somebody depending on your dasha of course then it can happen that you meet somebody because venus and rahu can show that in quadrants and venus ketu are also in quadrants because rahu ketu are always in quadrants to each other so venus ketu can show that you need to let go of some existing person who you are with or who you wanted to be with or there can be some unexpected events basically the karma will come out okay so first second december is starting with this bang and then third fourth fifth as i said uh moon and venus are conjunct in libra so that time the mind is also planning to be harmonious like venus in libra is planning so these are the days so first second third fourth fifth that's the that's the week which is setting the trend for the month and then uh till 15th we all know that sun is also uh, conjunct jupiter and mercury in the sign of scorpio so wherever the sign of scorpio is there's a lot of discussion going on as i said last time also because of jupiter mercury's presence and there are lot there's a lot of uh there's a lot of brain or i would say manpower which is going on lot of lot of energy you are putting there not physically maybe but you are thinking too much about that house wherever scorpio is falling in your chart so that happens when jupiter mercury gets conjunct in one particular sign so regarding that uh, house wherever scorpio is falling from your ascendant you will see that there are you will have a tendency to make a lot of decisions there you will have a tendency to know the things which are hidden because jupiter delights mercury okay jupiter delights mercury there which means that now you will be happy to uh, make notes now you will be very happy to understand the details of the situation wherever uh, scorpio is in your chart whichever house scorpio is and there can be if this is happening in your artha trikon which is 26 uh, 26 and 10 and especially in the 11th house also then a uh, new new avenues for finances can open up it can happen or 
if this is happening in your uh, Kama Trikon, which is 3711, then new avenues for relationships and socializing can happen. If this is happening in your 4812, then new avenues for letting go of things or understanding things in a deeper, deeper way or taking to spirituality can happen. If this is happening in your trines, which is 159, then you can understand more about yourself, who you are internally as a person. These things can happen. And Mercury is going to be direct in Scorpio after 6th. So, if you are planning to make any important decisions or planning to book hotels for your holidays, then do it after 7th or 8th. Okay. The day Mercury is stationary is not a good day to make, uh, to, do, to do bookings. So, even if the prices go up, wait for 7-8 days if you can and then at least on 7th you can make it don't make it in on 6th or 7th beginning you can start making it from 7th evening or preferably 8th morning okay so that's the best time and then after that from 15th we will see and and yeah the venus will remain in libra till the end of this month about which i will speak more in detail later and mercury will remain in scorpio till the end of december and beginning of January, Venus moves into Scorpio with Jupiter and Mercury will move into Sagittarius with Sun and Saturn. So Sun is in Scorpio. So wherever Scorpio is, that's the hallmark for the first 15 days because Sun is the life force. Wherever Sun transits in the chart, depending on our house, where it falls from the ascendant, there is too much focus. So wherever the sign Scorpio is, you are putting too much energy you are focusing there because jupiter is also there jupiter is delighting sun also so you are feeling very positive regarding to the house where scorpio is you are feeling that i can uh, do things the way i wanted here depending on your dasha and transit of course then apart from this on 15th sun is going to conjoin saturn and it is going to stay sun and saturn conjunction is going to be there from uh, 15th December to 15th January until finally uh, Sun moves into Capricorn where it will again be with Ketu from 15 January to 15 February <laughs> so when uh, the first 15 days of the month when Sun and Saturn are conjunct that is the time when our actual uh, belief of what we are inside as a person whenever Sun and Saturn gets conjunct in transit what happens is what we believe about ourselves and the external circumstances which is sun is actually tested and we see the reality because saturn shows us the reality but now saturn is always showing the reality but when saturn conjoins the sun then what happens we start feeling that very much we start feeling that more because our entire existence revolves around sun that can happen so uh, from the half of December there can be situations where we feel that we want to do something but either we are not getting the results or even if you are getting that but we are still not satisfied that can happen and then finally Sun will move into Sagittarius as I said uh, I mean from 15th it will be with Saturn so there will be a lot of focus on rules law these kind of things all right sun will be in mula nakshatra from 15 to around 20 28 around that time and saturn has crossed mula so the end of december will have sun and saturn exactly conjunct in purvashada so i made the video on saturn's transit into purvashada so if you have not watched it, then please watch it you will understand more about it and Jupiter is in Anuradha and by the end of December, I guess it will go to Jeshtha Nakshatra. So when Jupiter is in Anuradha in Scorpio, we are very committedly with a lot of focus working towards the areas which Jupiter is ruling in our chart depending on our ascendant. That's happening. And Mercury will be direct from 6th which means that now after the retrogression is complete, all the hidden secrets will come out so if there are certain things which are pending regarding the houses which mercury rules in your chart 
so be patient after sixth you will see the results coming out and then mars will be in aquarius and when mars is in aquarius it's a great time to integrate our own beliefs our ability to cross through difficulties that's what mars is and mars was with k2 in capricorn for a long time and now it has finally separated so now from its exaltation it has moved into aquarius so there we might uh, have this challenge that how do we incorporate our techniques our way of approaching things which is very specific to us and our way of solving things with the bigger picture of society and 11th house what other people want it's not all the time what we want and moon uh, mars and venus will also be in trines throughout the month so that can uh, give us a lot of enthusiasm to work for relationships there there a lot of things related to uh the opposite sex which we might be interested in that can happen and by the end of the month 30th and 31st i guess and 1st january also moon and venus are again getting conjunct in libra all right and this is the last time they will be conjunct uh so this is the second time that in one month they are getting conjunct and this this is a very powerful transit because uh, this is a very powerful conjunction because uh, this is Uh, happening in the moon trigon sign and it's happening the second time within one month only okay so that's the beauty that's why i have said that love is in the air because the month will start with that because of rahu ketu trines to venus and then moon venus conjunct and then the month is ending also okay so if you are single and you are planning to go for seeing proposals if you are in india if you are going to the system of arranged marriage that you can do or if you are planning to go on date somebody that also you can do during this month it's a good time to do all those activities and it is also a very good time to sort out differences to balance out things in any area of our life particularly where uh, the sign of libra is falling in the chart okay so for the movable ascendants which is aries cancer libra and capricorn for one month they will be enjoying the Malavya Mahapurush Yoga, which is formed when Venus is in own sign or Moon trigon or in exaltation in the Kendra houses, and that shows that the blessings of Goddess Lakshmi will be there fully on you. So, this is a great time for these four ascendants to do good things in life, to be happy. Okay, and especially second, third, uh, four, uh, sorry, third, fourth, fifth, and thirtieth, thirty-first, and first. first january these days are great to work on your relationships and if there are prominent planets like sun and moon in your horoscope in libra then this can also show that you are working on yourself also not only your relationships all right so this is how the month is ending and the only difficult thing is uh, the month is ending where sun and saturn are going to be conjunct all right so that's something which we need to watch out for so what i feel is it's not very good to make big resolutions big declarations for the new year that we will do this we will do that we will go here we will go there we can um, enjoy the new year there's no problem in that but we need to be on ground because sun and saturn are going to be conjunct all right so it can happen that you make a declaration now because purva shada is about declarations and whenever uh, there is new year sun is always in purva shada because purva shada starts from 1320 of sagittarius so if sun moves on 15 december then you are at 14 days so 28th 29th sun moves into purva shada and that is the time you will see 29 december 30th 31st and 1st 2nd 3rd these days when sun is in purva shada people make lot of new year resolutions they give declarations that i will i'll do this i'll do that i'll lose weight i will gain weight i will stop eating this i'll stop eating that so these things can happen but now because saturn is also there so it can happen that you are being tested on a literal sense so be careful what you speak and even if you want to make declarations make it after 7th december when mercury continues its uh, direct motion after ending its retrograde cycle okay so 
any important bank transactions any important monetary dealings preferably do it after 7th all right so the month is ending and beginning with moon venus conjunction so it's a great month i would say so enjoy the time and happy new year and be happy do good to others and god is there with you all the time just look to him and you find him <laughs> okay bye bye see you Thank you.